Let's do a final review of the Sony 70 to 350. Hey everybody, Kwame here. I hope you guys are doing well. It is so good to see you all. And today I want to talk about my final review of the Sony uh, 70 to 350 APS-C lens. This has been an absolute joy to use. I really like this lens. You can see here, uh, I did pick up a little tripod collar mount for this lens. Uh, but this lens has been really good and it's 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 so cool to see like you can get really good glass for the APS-C line. So if you only have an APS-C camera like the A6100, 6400, 6600 and you're looking for a good telephoto zoom lens, 70 to 350 is the way to go. Stop watching, just go pick up this uh, this lens. Now, as for me, I'm actually going to be turning this lens and I'm, it's going back uh, tomorrow as of me making this video. And the reason why, and the only reason why is because I have an A7 II and I really want a, a lens system that works on both. I want lenses that work both that work on both cameras. And yes, I could put this lens on that camera, but then I get like a seven or 12 megapixel or something like that. So I'd rather have something that takes advantage of the full sensor of my full frame camera and that can then work on the APS-C camera. That's why I'm gonna pick up the Sigma 100 to 400. It has image stabilization. It has a little bit extra reach. And what's nice is it will work on both uh, uh, platforms but today we're talking about the 70 to 350 and do I think you guys should get it are you already heard me say yes you should get it if you're looking for a, a zoom lens and you have an APS-C camera now the other reason why you should get it this is a really well built lens I will say if you're gonna get this lens get there's a third-party uh, tripod collar you can get I will let me see here so this here zoom there you go. This here, this tripod collar is really nice because it just takes the the pressure off the mount and your camera when you're putting it on a tripod. So that way you could put it on a tripod and it holds on the foot here. I highly recommend getting that. To be honest though, I rarely use this on a tripod. I did it mainly for like testing purposes, but I found I just hold the, like I like holding the camera and it's much easier for me to hold it. What's awesome about this lens, built-in image stabilization. So A6100, A6400, A6000, uh, I think the A6500, A6300. None of those cameras have in-body image stabilization. Maybe the A6500, I'm not sure about that one. But I know A6100, A6400, and A6000, those cameras don't have it. Only the A6600 um, in this newer line of A-line cameras, A6000 cameras, has image in-body image stabilization. So on the long end, when you're shooting pictures or shooting video, it actually really does help. I turned it on, turned it off a couple times just to see, and it was night and day. Like I would never use this lens without image stabilization, especially paired with this camera body. The other feature I like about this lens is it has an extra button here. So if you do want to program this button, you can. Uh, I programmed it for manual focus and um, uh, not manual focus. So if I wanted to like take set my focus, I'd press the button and then it would go into manual focus so that the focus wouldn't change if I'm shooting. And then when I want to go back to autofocus, I would just press the button again and it goes back to autofocus. You can do that in no numerous ways. I also have it back here, but because I didn't know what else to program it with, I just put it on the lens. But it was kind of nice because I didn't have to take my hands off the, I didn't have to move my thumb off the um, camera to, to press it. I don't know, it works. What else? Image quality is superb. It is really good. I thought it was a little soft at the widest aperture on the, like when you're zooming in, but if you stop down to like F9, it's really good. Uh, I had no problems with those pictures. And actually it was some of the best pictures I've taken because when I was at the wildlife refuge, I could actually get really close to the bison or the deer without, you know, actually getting closer. Uh, you have your uh, buttons over here. So if you want to change it to autofocus, manual focus, you can just slide it right here. You have your image, image stabilization on and off down here. Again, if you want to turn it off, you can. Uh, what else to say about this lens? 
I don't know this it's a really well built lens you guys and it's a really good lens and again if you have an a6100 a6400 a6600 and you need a zoom lens or want a zoom lens this is the perfect lens to get you know this is a lens you can get and keep for a long time you know i'm not a person that needs an f28 lens in my uh, zoom zoom range so i will never get a lens like that and this 4.5 to 6.3 was perfectly fine like and again i'm not shooting you know at night or you know at dusk it's pretty well lit when i'm when i'm photographing even at sunrise i'm still pretty well lit so you know take it for what it's worth with that one uh but again overall i really like this lens i think it is uh you know for most people this will be a keeper for me it just won't be because of the type of of the, the the setup that I have going on right now and I really want to just simplify and have you know universal lenses that work on both the a sib a72 and a6100 and so that's why I'm gonna return this and some point not right away but some point down the road get the 100 to 400 on a side note one thing I did realize is that I didn't use this lens as much as I thought I would when I when I really wanted it because I always thought every time I go to a wildlife refuge I really you know I, I want to get closer and such and such but since getting this lens we just haven't really gone to the wildlife refuge or you know gone to places where we've seen birds and so if you're if that's something like you you're not gonna use this lens you know once a month twice a month you know maybe just rent a, a nice zoom lens when you know you're gonna go out you know either locally or if you're traveling or something like that uh, maybe just rent a lens that it save you a little bit of money and you can still get the benefit of the reach with the pictures but you know personally that's why i'm not going to get the sigma 100 400 right away i can wait i think quite a bit before i get it because i i realized i just i didn't use this lens as much as i thought i would Thank you as always for watching this video. I really do appreciate you guys uh, watching this video. If you like this type of video, this type of content, please hit the like button, subscribe button, all that good stuff helps the YouTube algorithms. Uh, thank you as always for watching these. You know, I am so close to getting to a thousand subscribers. That's a goal of mine. It was a goal to get reach it by the end of the year. I doubt that's gonna happen, but I still have that goal of reaching a thousand subscribers and of course much more. But uh, if you haven't subscribed, I would uh, greatly appreciate that i will have links down below they are affiliate links to where you can pick up this lens and all the other camera equipment that i've talked about on this channel i will see you in the next one i hope you guys are staying safe i hope you have a great uh new year stay safe be, you know be healthy and i will see you in the next one talk to you later bye bye